everyone and welcome to my crib for three weeks I'm here in Brian's parents house we arrived two days ago we just woke up got ready breakfast time my favorite part of the day in America baby boy is ready in the kitchen and the best part I'm sorry Italian followers America coffee We have a debate about cereal. What's your view? Okay, I like to put milk first. I don't. Warm it up a little bit, then put the cereal so that it gets all soft and not crunchy. I like to put the cereal and then milk and keep it cold. And it doesn't taste like anything because it's all crunchy and cold. It's still good. It's better that way. I do. She is strange. <laughs> Let's go and eat. Yeah. Little Brian, you happy you're back here? Yes, I am. Any culture shock? Yeah, a little bit, I guess. What? Just everything. <laughs> Very accurate answer. Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, guys, Brian had this idea, and we're going to Alpaca Magic. He's driving, by the way. I'm so happy. So we're going to alpaca magic, an alpaca farm. I didn't know how I felt about this at first, but then I did my research and I learned that there are no wild alpacas. Alpacas are domesticated, so I feel like it's like having horses in a farm. If the farm is good, maybe the alpacas are happy. So we're in Florida, guys, and the weather is amazing. It's very interesting for me because all the flora and fauna are completely different from Italy and even from Colorado. This is like a jungle. I see palms, strange animals. There are alligators and flamingos, like... <laughs> yeah, it's Florida, nice weather. Alpacas were coming! On our way to Alpaca Magic, we stopped at Walmart because we wanted to buy a SIM card for our phone because we had no data. Guys, I have a question for Sonia. Sonia, aren't you glad I drove us here? Yes, guys, I'm so happy. I hate driving. And in Italy, since he doesn't have a driving license, I'm always driving. Yet. Like, so happy. Guys, I feel extremely uncomfortable vlogging in front of people. I know that they are looking at me. It doesn't seem like you feel uncomfortable. And everybody can understand what I'm saying. Everyone's okay. looking at us. I know. Let's we could go. be a TV network, yes. and you're the reporter. So apparently there were no SIM cards that we could buy just for data for a short period of time. So I guess we will just have to go with um, maps. We have to see them out packs. I know they spit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good for my vlog, but... Uh, Hopefully they spit on the camera. <laughs> no, I hope they don't spit on me. I went on TripAdvisor, I said, what's the cool things to do in this area? Apparently, <laughs> let's go to Alpaca Magic. Oh my god, I see them! There are wild chickens! Where? I just saw a chicken! Look at these guys. <laughs> you wanna go in this cool place? They're all girls. They're cute. About 20 years. Okay. They have one baby at a time per year. Okay. okay. 11 and a half months to have one. Which one is her mom? Well, you have a one in four chance of figuring it out. What do you think? The one that she's... At dawn. <laughs> Just cause her kid. Right? So, you ready to feed him? Other hand. No. I gotta get... I didn't really touch them or pet them because I thought that the guy there was really good at telling people that alpacas are happy here but they don't like to be touched and people didn't really touch them except for Brian because he wanted to touch the little one The baby, he said to touch it No, he said you could but it's not like she liked it I've seen my first alpacas Now we're going somewhere We're gonna make another stop somewhere Brand had a good idea. We're going to a dollar store. I've never been to an American dollar store. Oh, they're the best. Better than Japan. I doubt it. You know, in Japan, they had the best dollar stores. What the heck? What? They did not have the best dollar stores in Japan. They did. It's time to 
show people how rich I am at the dollar store. I can't show them how rich I am. Okay, I'm sorry, Brian, but this time Japan wins. I accept the defeat. Japan's dollar stores are better. So, guys, today on this drive, we have almost run over a squirrel, almost run over a turkey, and now there is just a snake on the road, and I think I got it. Like, I killed it. A big, long, black, black. snake. And Sonia's first question was, Maybe it got in the car. How could it have gotten in the car? Because you just ran over the snake and maybe, you know, snakes are flexible. Maybe now it's in the tire. Like No, I saw it. That's what you're you know? About. You saw it? I saw its body. Florida's wild. Black. We're home. I made a salad with avocado, salmon, tomatoes, feta cheese. And I made the same thing. <laughs> you made? Later, I'll have to work because I'm still working. Yesterday I worked for seven hours. Today I'll work five hours. It's not my normal 10 hour day, but I'm still working. For the dessert, Brian had a good idea. He's making a smoothie. Okay, welcome to the Brian's cooking section of the vlog. We put a little like, and you're like, din, 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 din. Brian's cooking, cooking with Brian. I'm like this, it's an idea. <laughs> First, you take the banana. Then, you take the avocado. Or maybe you want three. No. <laughs> Please tell me you got that on camera. So then we'll throw the banana in. Woo! I love banana avocado smoothies. Me too. Really? Do we gotta mm. add sugar? I want to add stevia. Healthier. I love this tropical life. And of course, there's basketball on TV. <laughs> Brian's happy. <laughs> there's basketball on TV 24 7. Okay, no, that's... actually, no. When the TV's on, there's basketball on. It's a specific time of year where there's always basketball. It's the tournament. So it's... it's a tournament, but what I'm saying is that there's basketball everywhere. Okay, now I have to work for three hours, then I have a break. Pretty much I work in the second guest room because I don't want to bother the others. I don't really have an office, so this is how I work. This is the bed, this is my computer, and I have my lessons here, sitting on that thing. Hello. So yeah, I'm about to start, I'll see you in three hours. And I'm done. A little tired. I'll have to teach two more hours later, but for now, a little break. We're going to a pub, I think. Brian wants to go to a pub. I don't drink, but I'm curious to see an American pub. Let's go. Oh, and Brian's dad will come with us. You'll meet Brian's dad. I call him Muff Jim. His name is Jim. And I don't remember there was like a pun with Muffin and he became Muff Jim. Hi, Muff Jim. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> We're at the gas station and I'm about to enter the shop. You know, I'm a horror movie fan. I feel like I'm doing something really dangerous right now. And I'm still alive. I won't lie. I was a little worried, you know, all the horror movies, like it's a gas station, but nothing happened. But it's because there are too many cars on the street. Only isolated gas stations are dangerous in movies. One thing that's for sure about America is people do not dress well at all. It's not because they're not capable, they just literally don't care. And there's never a situation where you should care unless it's like this fancy dinner or something, but yeah. I don't know if I agree. A lot of the brands that I love are American, Jordan, Nike. I 
I like the place. Thank you, Mob Jim. You're welcome. <laughs> Just given three American flags. That's what we do in America. We are patriotic. Why? So? <laughs> Where's your flag? Wave it. Thanks, cool. All right, guys, this was the perfect place for me for an American experience. I really had a, a real American experience. Nice view, country music, flags, <laughs> and fried food. <laughs> True. Yeah. Hold Okay, we're back home. I'm about to start working. I have two more hours and then I'm done for the day, but I'll finish working at like 10 p.m. So I think I'll just have a snack and go to bed because tomorrow I start working very early, so I need to wake up at 6.30. That's all for today. Thank you for watching again and I'm so happy that I'm back. Apparently Sonia wanted me to say goodbye to the vlog, so skada vlog and we enjoyed it. Peace out. And this is how you do it. There's low fire. <laughs> <laughs>